Hey everyone, in four easy steps, I'm gonna show you how to edit beautiful looking drone videos. The first thing to do before you even open Premiere Pro is to sit down and have a think about the story or the tale or the overall feeling that your final edit wants to get across. You can think of this as your vision for the final edit. As an extra step, you can even write down this vision so you give your subconscious something to work on while you're editing the video and make it clear in your own mind what you're trying to achieve. Next, we're gonna look through our drone footage. So I've got all of the drone footage in in this drone footage bin here and you can either open up these one by one and play or if you want to get a quick overview click on this icon view here and after a couple of seconds you get these thumbnails and you can increase the size of these thumbnails if you want and you can use this to get a really quick idea of exactly what you've got you can still double click on one of these clips and play it in the source monitor here and if you want to you can set in and out points if you haven't heard of in and out points before it's basically you can preset which part of a longer clip you want to use in the main edit when you drag that whole clip into the timeline in just a minute it's automatically going to to restrict it to the areas between the in and out point you set. So if we have a look at this clip in particular, say we wanted to set an in point when I'm a little bit down the stairs, I'm going to hit I on the keyboard and then we can set an out point maybe when I'm halfway down here, hit O to set the out point. And now when we use this clip, it's only going to use this portion of the clip right here. We can still use the rest of the clip though if we want to. So now we've got an idea of the clips that we've got to use. The next thing is we can bring them down into the timeline and create a sequence that we can work with with and fine tune the edit. So to create a sequence, all you need to do is drag one of these drone clips down into this empty timeline section and let go. And to zoom in and out on the timeline, use the plus key on the keyboard or the minus key. And if we go to the start of the timeline here and hit play, we can now see we've got the first clip in this sequence. If you want to download the drone video files we're using in this edit, along with an ebook that walks you through this process, check out Cinematic Drone Editing for Beginners. I'll put a link in the description. So now it's just a case of adding the rest of the clips that you want to use. If you want to simulate that widescreen look, you can add black bars at the top and the bottom of the video footage to make it feel more like a movie. So if we come back to the main project here, I've got this blackbars.png file. If I drag this on top of the footage here, notice now that we've got these black bars at the top and the bottom. I'm just going to drag this image file so it covers all of the video clips. And now you can see as we play this back, it looks more like a movie. You could also change the sequence settings so you don't have to add this image file to get the black bars. But for this video, let's keep things simple. If you have added black bars, you can select one of the clips and in the effect controls here, you can alter the vertical position up and down just so the video fits nicely within those black bars. So what you want to do now is you want to go back to the start of the sequence and just play it back and sit back and just see how it feels to you and how everything plays out. You might find that some of these clips are a little bit too long. So for example, say we wanted to stop this clip here. If you hit C on your keyboard, you get this little trimmer tool and then just click where you want it to stop. Hit V on the keyboard, select the clip and then hold down Shift and Delete to delete that section and move everything along automatically. So now it's just a case of moving things around and getting the whole sequence how you want it to look. So we can call this the rough cut. This is basically everything in the right order and almost how you want it. We can fine tune some details later on in the process if we need to. The next thing you're going to want to do is add some music to this video and you wanna add music that fits that vision that you came up with or that feeling that you want to get earlier in this process. So I've already got this bin called music and sound effects and I have this audio file which is from the YouTube audio library. Just going to drag this down to the bottom here and hit home on the keyboard to go back to the start of the sequence. A lot of the time these music files are a little bit too loud when you download them so we probably just want to go and reduce the volume a bit. The easiest way to do that is to just expand this up a little bit and then just lower this bar here which is the volume. Okay let's play that back and see how it sounds. So of course drones don't have microphones in them because all you'd really pick up is the sound of the rotor noise. But what you can do to make the whole thing feel more realistic is you can add little sound effects or background noises to kind of match what you're editing. Let's have a look at that. So for example, if we come along here to this part of the edit where I'm walking through the water, we can actually add some sound effects of some footsteps in water. So I've got a few different sound effects here. Once again, these come from the YouTube audio library. I double click on that and hit play. 
you can hear the sound of footsteps in water. We've also got this version, so I'd suggest you try out a few different ones. So now what you can do, just find that part in the video and hit plus on the keyboard to zoom into the sequence here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by finding one of these bits. And like we did before, we can use I on the keyboard and O on the keyboard to set in and out points. And then when we drag this audio down, it's only gonna drag that one little bit. All we need to do now is match up these footsteps and you can either hold down Alt and copy the same footstep, or you can go back and select a slightly different part of this clip, drag that down, and then just continue with that process to add any sound effects you want. Another example would be at the end of this edit, we've got me standing on these rocks against the ocean. But if I play this back, we obviously don't have the sound of the ocean there. So once again, I've got this waves crashing sound effect. And we'll just set an in point and an out point and drag this down to match up with this ocean clip. And now we have that subtle sound of the ocean playing in the background. It's just these little things which really elevate your drone videos and really make them feel a lot more vibrant and real. So the final step is to just finalize the edit and make sure you're happy with where all the clips are. You might want to just tweak things and make them start a bit earlier or a bit later. And also you want to have a look at the color. If you've used the standard color settings in the drone, you probably won't have to do too much or anything at all here. But if you've used one of the flat profiles such as D Cine like or one of the log profile such as D-Log then you definitely will have to do some color grading but if you're not comfortable with color grading or color correction you might want to start off by just shooting in the standard color profile on your drone. So for example all of these clips look a bit washed out and that's because they were all recorded with D-Cine-like which is a flat picture profile. I'll quickly show you how I would color grade this. So let's take this clip for example. What I'd do is I'd come into this Lumetri color panel here and add some contrast tweak the brightness a little bit, maybe add a bit more contrast still. Come down here in the creative tab, you can play with adding some vibrant. Don't do too much though, because it will look pretty terrible. And also making some saturation boosts. And if you've shot without any sharpening in the drone, you might want to add some sharpening here, but don't add too much, otherwise it'll look too digital. I won't go into too much detail here because I've already got a full video that goes into the details of how you would color grade something like D Cine like. I'll put a link to that video down in the description. So all you need to do now is come up to the export tab here, choose where you want the final video to be exported to and then also choose how you want to export that video for example 1080p or 4k and then hit export and sit back and wait for Premiere Pro to do its thing. Once Premiere Pro has finished exporting your video you should go into the file system wherever you exported it to and just open it up and watch it through and make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Remember to check out my cinematic drone editing for beginners ebook if you want to try your own version of this edit. I'm Jason Roberts and I'll see you in the next one.